We're here at TBEX North America 2016 and I'm talking to Gillian Rexdealer from Travel Manitoba. Tell me, Manitoba's in Canada but literally you're bordering Minnesota, you're just around the corner, so it's yeah. your, your neighboring state. We are the friendly neighbor to the north of Minnesota and North Dakota, so um, we're cut from the same cloth, the only difference is the border, but um, people are very similar to friendly Minnesotans, friendly Manitobans, um, and we are the Midwest, the U.S. Midwest, but of Canada, so we're the central prairie province. Well, you, you've made some friends here. Uh, yesterday you hosted a whiskey party, yes. so that's a, a good way to befriend the bloggers. Yeah, but that's tell a me, good way to bring you Hopefully in, yeah. when they come and visit you, what would they expect to find? Well, the reason we had this little uh, whiskey nightcap last night for our Upper Midwest friends was to show them that uh, how welcoming, how hospitable we are, but also to talk about Winnipeg, um, which is our capital city. So It's a mere seven hour drive from Minneapolis, so it's a day trip for most people. Maybe if you have young kids, you break the drive up, but um, we are an uh, isolated city in the sense that we're the largest center for hundreds of kilometers. Like Calgary in Alberta is, is over a 12 hour drive. Toronto is 24 hours plus to the east, and so there's a real kinship between Minneapolis and Winnipeg. So that whole, um, we're just trying to encourage more people to come up, see Manitoba. The U.S. dollar is much more in Americans' favor than Canadians right now. So their dollar can go a little bit further when they come to visit Winnipeg. And we want to see, it's actually, lots of people have no expectations about Winnipeg. But when they come up, they're blown away by... Well, give, me, give me a top three in terms of what, what, what people should, should see and do. A reason that they come, in fact. Yeah. Um, Polar bears. Polar bears is not in Winnipeg, but in in Churchill, Manitoba. Okay. So that's a, a small, remote, isolated town on the northern reaches of Manitoba, along the Hudson's Bay. It's the most accessible place in the world to view polar bears in their natural environment, in the wild. So most people have seen those images of those those mammoth white vehicles with tourists looking out the window and the bear up on the hind legs, nose to nose with the tourists. That's Churchill, Manitoba in October, November. Okay, so that's the polar bears. What about Northern Lights? Bears. Northern Lights actually in Churchill too. Churchill's really establishing its Northern Lights tourism because uh, we do it in, in Churchill. The best time is actually right in the dead of winter. So January, February, March where the temperatures drop severely, like we're talking Minus, I don't even want to tell you, but those are the nights that the nights, the skies are the clearest, so the lights are most active. And what about and the summer then? What about outdoor activities? Outdoor You've activities. Got, got two in big summer. lakes. In Manitoba, yeah. we have two huge fresh bodies of water, Lake Manitoba and Lake Winnipeg. Lake Winnipeg is um, the largest, the fifth largest freshwater body in North America, other than the Great Lakes that straddle Canada and U.S. over in Ontario. Um, so we are an outdoor, like the bottom third of Manitoba is prairie, farmland, we're very agrarian, lots of agriculture is, is at our heart. Um, that's the southern third where Winnipeg our capital city is and that's what a lot of people associate that all of Manitoba looks like, but that's wrong. Because so the that's, middle... So that's the, mountain biking, that's hiking, that's hill walking? Yep, and then in the winter time, think cross country skiing, no downhill skiing, we don't have mountains, so we're fairly, fairly flat. Um, lots of lakes, we have loads and loads, 100,000 lakes, so boating, um, cottage life, sitting on the dock with pure pure silence and pure untouched um, land is, is Manitoba. So tell me, if travel bloggers around the world, North America, want to yeah. find out more, what, where do they go? Do you have a website for them? We have travelmanitoba.com, which is our, our website, um, for really neat stories and entertaining tips about Manitoba. I recommend our blog, which is manitobahot.com. Loads of great fresh content. and. You know, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Travel Manitoba. Excellent. So, um, loads of great stories and content there. Thanks for your time, Dillian. Thank you.